Ischium, yep. the bottom here, mm -hmm. and then just coming up an inch and on the lateral side, yeah. you've got a whole bunch of muscles. You, if you have a look at your anatomy books, Sorry. there is a From whole there bunch you of went muscles. Uh, or straight, straight up? up. Okay. Straight up into yep. there. And then you've got sciatic nerve <laughs> coming through at that point as well. So this is where sciatic nerve is at its most superficial. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We're looking for deep muscles. It feels like you're on the bone. You're quite close to bone. But there, there's a nice little tender spot. I think. So that's a, yeah. We're looking for that obturator internus. So have a look for that uh, gluteal fold. Fetch where the buttocks start to, to move, fall away. And then just come up an inch, and just come out to the lateral side by a centimetre. And then your obturator internus is just in there. I can feel it getting across. <laughs> yeah, so quite a prominent one. Again, you could internally rotate the leg in order to stretch it out. And then again, that feels super tight in there when we've done internal rotation. Okay, so we'll do that one. Inter obturator internus. With the glute max, there will be trigger points, painful spots all the way along the sacrum there as well you can feel a real tender tight bit of glute max so the glute max muscles are going from the sacrum all the way around to the mid femur and then all the way down to the outside of the knee in, by the IT band yeah, so, so your muscles through that so if you when you're palpating you find the ischium gather up a little bit of gluteal muscle tissue and then strum across it you should feel prominent strands of muscle so this side is not so prominent, that is the real prominent part, and then this side, not so bad again. And can you feel the difference when I palpate through? So that is a really common trigger point for the glute max. Again, we could get in and we could just trigger it, with some compressions, or we could do some simple union frictions of just moving up and down to the sacrum. And for me, it's then working in a line across the ilium. Here we've got like a, um, what is that? Clothing band in the way, so you might have to manipulate clothing in order to get into it. So now I'm gonna come up into this area here. I'm just gonna do little circles. I'm looking for a reaction from Tom, and I'm feeling through my elbow any tight bits of muscle. So are you in the glute, then knee? Or where Still kind of glute max, but now, so here glute max, all of this is glute max. As I come up here, I'm starting to come into glute knee on this point here. And as soon as you start to move past the PSIS, you're in glute med territory. And I'm just working my way through. And is that a part of the glute med is a part of the front? Glute med is the posterior portion. Yeah. yeah. But we'll move around to the front. So what I want you to do now is find the obturator internus and externus. Yeah. Glute max. And then I just want you to start working along the iliac crest. At this point, we're going to we're going to lose our ability to apply pressure whilst keeping good posture. We're going to be all the way down here and pushing into the side of the hips. So at this point here, that's as far as you go for the glutes. That's all we need to do. We then need to change position and we need to move into a side leg. Yeah, so that we can do med, both posterior and anterior. Is that enough? No, it's enough. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to find the internal and ulterior. 